Hi friends, uh, my name is Ratan. So in this video, we'll discuss about the string manipulations, right? The last video, we done the string buffer methods, right? So the string buffer methods are completed. Now this video will discuss about the string builder, string builder, right? I think you know this point. Uh, the previously we done the string buffer class, uh, string buffer class versus now this video will focus on string builder class. One point is clear. The string builder is introduced in 1.5 version. If the string builder is introduced, which version? Yeah? 1.5 version, right? That's all. And it comes to string buffer and string builder, both are same. Or string buffer and string builder, both are what? Uh, same. So both operations, everything is same, yeah? but except one difference is there. We only one difference between the string buffer and string builder. What is the difference here? Yeah? Good. Come to the difference here. Yeah? The string buffer methods are synchronized. Yeah? String buffer methods are which type here? Synchronized. Okay. Synchronized methods. String buffer methods are synchronized means then how many threads can access here? Hmm. How many threads can access? Only one thread, right? Only one thread. But string buffer methods are synchronized. As a synchronized means how many threads can access? Only one thread can access. Wait, how many threads can access here? One thread can access. And one thread can access means it is a thread safe, right? Only one thread is running you'll get the thread safety, right? Thread safe. But thread safe, but performance increased or decreased? Yeah? Hmm, performance. Performance is what? Uh, decrease, right? So why the one thread is running means remaining thread has to wait or not? Why one thread is running mode means remaining thread has to wait. The reason performance is what happened here? here decrease, right? That's all guys. So we're discussing string buffer. The string buffer methods are synchronized. Yeah? But a synchronizer means how many threads can access only? Only, uh, only one thread can access. Only one thread is accessing means remaining thread has to wait, right? Remaining thread has to wait. Okay, then obviously performance is decreased. But only one thread is running means you'll get the proper output, right? Proper output means what? This is a thread safe. In application level, wherever you want thread safety, simply can go with the string buffer class here. What about string builder? String builder methods are non-synchronized. Which type are here? Non-synchronized. It's on uh, string buffer versus string builder, right? This is non-synchronized. Non-synchronized means how many threads can access? One thread or multiple threads? Uh, hmm, how many threads are? Multiple threads, right? That's it. Uh. So, no, these are multiple threads, right? Good. Multiple threads can access. Multiple threads can access means this thread safe or not thread safe. You simply can say not, uh, not thread safe, right? That's it. Not thread safe. But the performance increase, right? Performance is what happened here. Increased or not? That's it, guys. The only one point is string buffer methods are synchronized. Uh, as a synchronizer means only one thread can access. One thread can access means it is a thread safe, but performance will be decreased. Uh. Because remaining thread has to wait, right? What is string builder? String builder methods are which type? Uh, Non-synchronized. Uh. Non-synchronized means how many threads can access? Multiple threads. Multiple threads means it is not a thread safe, but performance increase, right? That's all, guys. See, wherever you want thread safety, okay, wherever you want thread safety, simply can go with the string buffer. If you don't want thread safe, thread safety, okay, not required. I want performance. If you want performance, simply can go with which class here? String builder class. With thread safe means string buffer class. There is no thread safe. I want performance what? Uh, performance is what? <coughs> string builder class, right? That's all, guys. As you know, string class, right? String is immutable class or immutable class here? Immutable class. Modifications allowed or not allowed here? Not allowed, right? That's all. So the point here is. Uh, in entire project, some of the students are asking the question, Atan sir, project level, where exactly we are using string and string buffer and string builder, right? In the project level, the entire project, my content is fixed, right? there is no modifications. If my content is fixed, there is no modification, right? If the content is fixed, there is no modifications, simply can go to which class? String class. Okay, but Atan, see, in your project, content frequently changing, right? In your project content frequently changing, then we use which class here? Yeah? String buffer class, right? Because the string buffer allows the modifications. So, no, uh, that's, that's all. In entire project, content is frequently changing, but I don't want thread safety, I want performance. Can which class tell me? The content is frequently changing, but I don't want thread safer, I want performance. 
Hmm. Then which class here simply? String builder class, right? String builder also same as string buffer. It means string builder also mutable class, right? Mutable means modifications allowed. So no, yeah. mutable means what? Modifications allowed, right? This is called non-synchronized. This switch type here, non-synchronized, right? That's it. If the points are clear, right? Good. And one more small question. In entire project, I want to do the data comparisons. In entire project, I want which comparison? Yeah? Reference comparison or data comparison? Data comparison. Data comparison means which class recommended? String class or string buffer class? Hmm. String class or string buffer class? I think string class, right? Why string class? The string class equals method only perform the content comparison, right? So, no, uh, so string class equals only performs which comparison here? Yeah? Content comparison. What about string buffer class equals? Uh, it performs reference comparison, right? I said string buffer class, there is no equals method. It uses which class equals here? Yeah? Object class equals. It performs such comparison. Reference comparison or not? We clear? Huh? That's all, guys. There's a difference between string and uh, string buffer and what? Uh, string builder, right? Hmm? That's all. So next video will focus on the string tokenizer. That is the last last example. The string tokenizer class. That's all guys. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching. And like the videos and comment the videos. And subscribe to our channel to get the more updates. Right? Thank you guys. Bye.